Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. They have solutions for connecting wires to other wires, terminals, or anything else you can think of. There will be a short video explaining more about them at the end. Now enjoy our regular video. Hey, what's happening guys? This is the hot end out of my Creality Ender 3 V3 KE, the latest Ender 3, the one with uh, the Clipper firmware built in. And as you can see, I had a clog that backed up somewhere and just, oh, it made a mess. I have never encountered a mess like this before. So anyway, I cleaned it all up uh, as best as I thought I could, but unfortunately, the uh, thermistor and the uh, the heater were ruined by the plastic. I mean, it had just, just cooked them. But, you know, no problem. So I ordered a new front end, or hot end, rather. And as you can see, I have it mounted up there already. Everything's good. So, you know, the last step, I'm going to put the, uh, the Sprite extruder goes back on here. And this part goes down, so it just kind of like... Just slides on that PTFET and slides down, and then you plug it in. But I noticed then that when I had taken it apart... I had killed the uh, the plug on the end, and if you look here, you can see they've used uh, a little bit of hot glue on all of those to secure them, which is a good thing. I had thought that I got in there with a with a knife and got behind it and popped it out, but obviously I did not because I ended up ruining this. So. I thought, hey, no problem, right? I got more stepper motors. Except all my stepper motors have like six pins. This one only has four pins. So I wrote to Creality, you know, uh, to their customer service. I think it's cs at creality.com. Explained to them, you know, what I had done, that it was my fault, blah, blah, blah. Not asking them to send me anything for free, simply saying, uh, hey, what is this so I can order one? And they write back with just this unbelievable amount of questions. Where did I get it? When did I get it? Do I have the receipt? Blah, blah, blah. And then I write back again and I tell them, I, I don't want warranty service. I broke this. I just want to buy another one. So they finally got back to me and you can just order one. Off of Amazon, it's like $19. So, that's why I ordered this, too, which is also like $19. So, the entire front end for this, you know, is like under 50 bucks, which is not too bad. So, what I think happened here, and I'm not 100% sure, but my thought on this is that after assembly, transport, storage in a warehouse transport to here reassembly and then this thing got hard worked for like two weeks i think what probably happened is i just uh had loose screws with, with all that transportation and vibration and everything so something worked loose and you know as you can see obviously the the meltiness just found a way out everywhere i mean I, it must have been a half a roll yeah, it was a lot. So uh, I have a new policy where I'm not leaving the house when this thing's printing anymore or any of my printers. I was a little cavalier about it before, but I'm going to be more careful now. Now, these things do have thermal runaway protection built in. So if the heat sensor gets too hot, they'll shut off. However, it burn out the heat sensor. So, you know, I don't know what to do in that case. So anyway, the new one's on the way. It'll be here today, actually. I just thought I'd get this started before it got here. We can take a little look here at the uh, the whole tool end of this thing. So, you know, obviously down by the bottom here, we have the nozzle, the heater, all that, and heat brake. 
then we have our heat sink here and then there's this PTFE tubing that drops down in there and that of course connects to this big hole in the bottom of the, sp the sprite, sprite, I can't talk, sprite, sprite, sprite extruder, like so. And then you just line those back up and it bolts on four bolts over there. But you could get a different extruder and put on here if you wanted. It wouldn't be a problem because, um, like I said, you have all of the, uh, the connections right here. So, what I'm saying, I guess, is make sure your screws are all tight. And while I am waiting for the uh, replacement extruder motor to come, I'm going to go ahead and get started doing that. All right, the very cold new extruder motor is here. Here's the old one. different lot number but other than that they appear similar so looks like I need to remove those two hopefully I've never been in here before hopefully nothing uh, springs out and launches itself into near-earth orbit I don't think it will. Ah, uh, okay, two down there as well. And remember it goes cable. Well, in this case it will be cables on the right. So when I put the new one in, we're just going to lift it up and put it right back on there like that. I got a hand at the ender for only using a two different size or reality for only using two different size screws in this thing. That makes me really happy. I don't like switching five, six different times. up no, see that's what I didn't want to happen I don't want that flying apart that's how it came off you're gonna rotate that just like that Feed that into that bearing there. Oh, don't fall out. Nothing falls out. Them's the rules. The rules today say nothing falls out. Oh, we may, we may be successful. Get a couple of screws in there. For security and solidarity and whatever else we can think of. All right. Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna tighten that up with the driver in a second. I just wanna get him in there. Okay. Nothing like black on black for the old eyes, you know. I'm really glad that thing didn't fly apart when I opened it up. That would have that would have really disappointed me in myself, of course, not in the machine. That's one thing I want to I want to stress here. This is all me. All right. Everything seems to be functional. move it and get it installed. 
Okay. Actually, that's a slide on in there. Did I get it? Ooh. I did. How about that? And now we go like this. I don't know about that space. All right, let me get the uh, get the screws for this guy here. Trying not to lose these screws. That is going to <laughs> that is going to be the biggest uh, hindrance to this mission is me not losing one of these screws that I'll never find a replacement for locally, and then I'll have to have a very long discussion with Creality Support about. All right, I'm gonna put in the other two. Okay, so the last step is going to be to install this guy and hopefully not destroy it again oh my hang on here something don't look quite right there we go Yeah, that yeah yeah that that's in there. Let's uh raise the carriage up here. If so I can get the fan shroud back on. Trying to make sure I get all the wires, you know, so they're not causing any trouble, but something seems to want to get bunched up there a little bit. Oh my. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly work. All right, I got the fan shroud back on. It was really fiddly to put in there. Two screws on this side, one on the other. I'm about to plug in the data cable. And I went to uh, spread the ears out, and I broke one of the ears off. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. We should be... back in business give this a try see if I can no nah, not like that maybe if I push it in that way. oh there we go there we go there we go just pops in or as the Brits like to say it slots in I always thought that was much more elegant than shove it in the damn hole Okay, now you don't want to go in. Why? Why? Why will you not go into the hole? All right, what if I remove that? Will you go into the hole then? Yes. So, we're going with one for now. I mean, we're going to put this retaining clip on here, so I don't really think going to be any problem with it coming apart just uh you know if you're part gorilla as i apparently am just be careful <laughs> it's going this way no it has to go in this way 
one moment. All right, I've got it back over here where it goes. Powered up. Let's heat it up. And pray for no error. Well, it's definitely heating. So far, so good. All right, we're up to temperature. Gotta see if we can get some filament through here. Hopefully. Alright, if I can remember how to do this. Extrude, retract, length. Uh, let's do 50 millimeters. Nozzle temperature 240. Extrude. Oh my, look at that. Just a squirting out of there like it's having a lovely day. Thank goodness. All right, so I'm going to do a test print and we'll come back at the end and talk about how it went. Well, there you go. Took about 45 minutes, but I think we got it all put back together and back in pretty good shape. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. We've all been there, right? We've all spliced a set of wires together and either used some electrical tape or a wire nut or something to connect them together. There's always a better way. If you need them permanently connected, I suggest the solder stick, uh, solder connectors where you heat them up with a heat gun and they melt together. But if you need something a little less permanent, spade connectors. We have a male and a female connector which fit together uh, like so. You crimp those onto the ends of your wires and you, you look like you know what you're doing. And have you ever come across something like this where the wires have been stripped? Focus. And just crushed underneath a screw to hold them in place? Well, time and temperature will cause those wires to move and flex and eventually come loose, which can definitely lead to a hazard. In that case, something like the solder stick ring connectors are just what the doctor ordered. Crimp these guys on your wire. They have them for all different size wires. Heat them up. This heat shrink will shrink down, giving you a nice insulated connection to your wire that you can then put underneath that screw and have a nice professional looking solution. Solder stick. You can see their website right there. www.solderstick.com Check them out. See if they have a project or a product that works for you.